Okay, so year 11, um, GCSE mark, uh, November 2017. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through the questions. I haven't looked at them, so it's going to be my um, way of giving you an honest view of how I would read a paper. Then we can have a look at the mark scheme and see if I was right or not. Um, not completely infallible. Right, okay, so first question, question number one. So when I read a question, I always jump to this bit here, but this one's only a short one, so don't need to worry. So the diagram shows the boat pulling a scoreboard of skier. The arrow represents <coughs> the force on the water produced by the engine propeller. This force causes the boat to move. Explain why. So with these kind of questions, I always like to refer back to which Newton's law it is. And you don't need to, but it just helps me to focus. So I would say that, that is uh, Newton's third. And um, the water produces an equal and opposite reaction on the boat. That probably gets you one mark. So what that's saying is, is that because you've got that arrow there, it means you'll also have an arrow here going forwards so if the boat's pushing off the water well then the water is also pushing the boat so that's why the boat goes forwards and then I say um, which is then so then due to uh, Newton's first law and unbalanced force creates acceleration um, now it doesn't tell you what the water resistance is so you don't know if that is accelerating but it will be to start with until it's got up to a certain speed at which point the water resistance will be the same as this force here and in which case that's when it stops that's when the that's where the speed starts now you have to be careful with these ones because that looks like it's balanced there but it's not really because um, one of the forces is on the water and one of the forces is on the boat so both are unbalanced so the water will go this way and the boat will go this way so the overall forces are balanced but the, balance on, the, ba the forces on an object are not sorry if I've confused you more than what I intended to ok so next up the boat accelerates at a constant rate in a straight line. This causes the velocity of the water skier to increase from 4 to 16 in 8 seconds. Calculate the acceleration of the water skier and give the unit. Okay, so whenever I'm doing these kind of questions, the first thing I'm going to do is write out the equation that I'm going to use. So I'm going to use A equals um, V minus U, where V is my end speed, U is my start speed, and I divide that by T and that will give me my acceleration so that's my change in speed in a certain amount of time which is your definition of acceleration so 16 minus 4 divided by 8 uh, I always find it handy if you put brackets on this bit at the top here I mean okay you don't have to because the laws of maths tell you that you do the uh, dividing by first but I find that this just makes it less likely for you to go wrong so that makes it 12 divided by 8 um, which is 3 quarters oh no sorry it's 1 and a quarter and it's in meters per second up here so we know that those two are in meters per second and per second so that's how I know what the units are meters per second per second that's what that tells me so I can put in 1.25 M slash S slash S. Okay, next up. We've got um, the water scale has a mass of 68, so I'm going to use F equals MA here, just because with the vast mass and you've got an acceleration, you know what's coming next. So 
it's going to be 68 times 5 and then if whatever you got for that answer it doesn't matter what you got and if you didn't write down something write down anything times 1.25 because you'll still get full marks for this one so you still get both marks for that one Oops, sorry, it's not 1.25, it's 1.5, which is. And I've still got two marks here, you see, because I use the same one there, so that's exactly why we do it. To give me 102 newtons. Okay. Okay, so question three draw a ring around the correct answer to complete the sentence, the force from the boat pulling the water skier forwards will be the same greater or less than the answer to part B. So you've come up with this figure here, which is how much how many newtons you need to accelerate this person here. Okay? But that will be um, the resultant force. Our resultant not so that R resultant there time that will that doesn't take into account any resistive forces so the boat has to pull at an even bigger speed because it's got to get rid of because it's got to overcome this resistance as well in order to produce this one so this force here needs to be even bigger so this force here needs to be equal to this is equal to this plus this okay if it was going at exactly this resultant force well then they'd never get that acceleration of 1.5 because the resistance would, would, would mean that the actual force on the skier would be less than this 102 due to the water resistance okay so what we're saying is that the boat has to pull a greater force to overcome water resistance. Now, if you wrote air resistance, that's fine, but water's got water's thicker, so it's going to have a greater effect than the air resistance. 